Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we are dealing with 46 for beginners. Absolute beginners or not so absolute beginners. And we've got a suggestion from Jack Chadwick. Hola, Jack. Hola, Jack. Jack has asked us to talk about the difference between meter and poner. <laughs> and that's, that's it. Yeah, we'll finish. <laughs> There's no more need. Nos vemos. Uh, that was the um, Marcel Marceau version <laughs> of meter and poner. Ok, entonces nos vemos en la segunda parte. Ok, Cynthia. So, the, really we're talking about the, the verbs to put, yeah? To put, yeah. Yeah. And as Cynthia often says, probably the issue is with the English. Yes. Because we use put. <laughs> we use put for a lot. Yeah? Put, yes. And also put is in uh, loads of phrasal verbs. Tons, yeah. yeah. Put away, put aside, put up. Put on. Um, put on. Put out. Put out, yeah. yeah. So. Put over. Not sure that probably put over. Probably. It'll it, be it, some it, context it, where yeah. you say it. put over, yeah. Put over. Um, yeah. yeah. Put that over the fence for me, please. Yeah. Put it off. Put it off, exactly. Yeah. So... Yeah. For, for phrasal verbs in in um, English that you need to translate into Spanish, the best thing is to do some research on them. There are tons of sites that give you all yes. of the phrasal verbs. So what I mean is, not all the put is poner o meter. That's right, yeah. So every phrasal verb will have a different meaning, in Sp a different translation yeah. in Spanish. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because it like putting off something has nothing to do with putting. Really. And even for example, you can have one with several meanings. Yeah. Like put up or put up with. Uh huh. Yeah. Different things. Yeah. The more prepositions you add, then you add yeah. The more complex it becomes. Yeah. <laughs> just okay. Adding so let's deal with let's deal with with poner and meter. Just so it's a general. Yeah. Okay. So poner and poner. meter. Poner. Yes. What specifically could you... What would we be doing what, with poner? Okay. The, the most specific one is meter. Is more specific, yeah? Because meter is to introduce. To yeah. put something into something. Yeah. Meter yeah. la mano en el Meter la mano en, en el, el guante. guante. Meter las llaves en el cajón. Uh -huh. Etc. Eh, meter los papeles en la carpeta. Meter los papeles en la impresora. It's putting meter. something within something else. As, as Cynthia says, to introduce. But not, can I introduce you to my wife? No. Mm, no, don't use meter there. <laughs> <laughs> can I introduce you into my wife? <laughs> That would be something Do you completely use, yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> that would be presentar. Yeah, presentar. Presentar, uh, yeah. So, meter is always the, the act of, of make, putting something inside of something else. Yes. Whereas poner, what's poner doing? Poner could be just to place, for example. To put as in place. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Puedes poner las llaves en el cajón? Mm -hmm. Can you put the keys in the drawer? Mm -hmm. In there, you could use meter or poner. Yeah, yeah. Could you place the keys in the drawer? Could you say that? Place the keys, yeah. But well, that would be poner, the poner version. I think it would be the difference between can you put the keys in the drawer or can you put them inside of the, the, the drawer? Okay. Like the inside of is that more meter feel, yeah? yeah? Um, yeah. Could you do it for the glove? Put your hand in the glove? Would you say poner? Ponte, eh, ponte los guantes, that's what we say. Ah, uh, that's put, you, put your gloves on, yeah? Yourself. Yeah, we yeah. say put your gloves on, yeah. Uh huh. We, we say put the gloves. We don't have to say on. That's yeah. the English uh, way. And <laughs> That's because we don't say on yourself. Yes. Unless you're from Ireland. And then you... Then they, go they, on, do the accent. Go eh? on, do the accent. No, no. Go no, but they, on, you they do it. Go no, on, go on. No. Go on, <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> but in Ireland, I noticed that they do use a lot of reflexive 
when they always put yourself at the end of that. Yes, it's true. That's right. I, I, That's I right. That. You know yourself. I've heard that. I do know myself, um, yeah. So poner... Poner is more generic. Yeah, yeah. To so, put to place. Sí, eh, voy a poner el móvil en la mesa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sí, um, pon... Pon la música. Another one, pon la música. Which is the command, pon. Pon. Yeah. Which would be in English, turn the music on. Mm -hmm. We would say, put the music on. Exactly, no. put the music on. Yeah. Put the music on. Put the music, put the music on. Put the music. Pon, pon la televisión. Pon put la luz. The, pon la luz. Yeah. Put yeah. the light on. Put the light on. Put yeah. the light, we would say. Put the light. Yeah. Um, yeah, pon la luz. Um, what's interesting, just as an aside, the, 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 the verb poner is a go verb. Is pongo. Yes, pongo. And all of the go verbs, when you put them into the command tense, they're the ones that tend to have three letters. Like pon, ben, Yeah, in the, in the tu form. In the tu yeah. form, yeah. So they tend to be, they're a little yeah. bit irregular, unlike yes. the other, other verbs. If you yeah. want to use usted, like in Latin America, for example, more, they use more usted. Well, because they don't have tu that much, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Well, in yeah, some they use countries, usted more, yeah. It will be ponga. Ponga. It's the ga. Yeah. yeah. The go goes go ga go. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, Gordon, ¿puedes poner este libro en la estantería? Claro mm -hmm. que puedo poner el libro en la estantería. Sí. Uh -huh. yeah. So, in that case, we wouldn't say meter because you're not putting it in. Within, yeah. No, yeah. that wouldn't so make sense. So, that would sense. be poner. Yeah. And meter... Gordon, ¿puedes meter mi móvil... En el bolso. Mm -hmm. So that's putting it within, yeah? That would be it, inside. Put it inside, yeah. inside my bag, yeah. There's one other verb that might be worth mentioning as well, which is colocar. Yeah. Colocar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which can also be put. Um, voy a colocar esto en el armario. Yes, yeah. but colocar also means to put things in order. In order. Okay, so colocar, I could say, voy a colocar um, los libros de la estantería. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put them in order, arrange, yeah? Exactly, arrange, arrange them, yeah. So colocar could be to place, but also to put in order, mm. or to put it neatly. ¿Dónde so, quieres que coloque eh, esta caja? Yeah. Okay, so that would be neatly. So poner could be just to put the box somewhere, but if yeah. I use colocar, it could be, what do you want me to... Put it specifically like something yeah. nice. And, uh, yeah. So it doesn't look plonked in the exactly. living room, for example. Exactly. So yeah. colocar is, although it's put, it, there's always an intention of making sure it's, it's put correctly. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There's a place for that. Poner is just a general. If you say, mira, pon, pon la caja en el suelo. Yeah. Yeah, or, that's it. Like, just chuck it down there. Um, Sebastián, no pongas... So that's the negative command, don't put. No pongas ahí los zapatos. Mm -hmm. Don't put your shoes there. Mm, you could say that in English, don't put your shoes there. Yeah. Don't leave your shoes there, maybe you would say. No, we say don't put your shoes there okay. as well, absolutely. Don't put your shoes absolutely, there. Absolutely, yeah. Um, okay. For example. Yeah. So, let's just go back. So to I want where? To, know. to 2019. Yes, yeah, go back in time, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, actually, I, I don't want to go back in time. I want to go forward in time. Forward, forward. yes. Forward. Let's go forward. Because if you go back, you know you've got that coming. Oh, well, that's true. Oh, no, my no. God, they've got that coming. No, I want to go forward. I want to go past this. So, um, putting off. How do you say that in Spanish, then? Uh, put off as in, I don't want to do this now. I'm going to put it I'm off I'm going to put later. it off till later. We could say, voy a dejar eso para más tarde. Dejarlo para más tarde. Mm -hmm. yeah. O... Oh. Hacerlo. Voy a hacerlo más tarde. Yeah. Porque no quiero ahora. I mean, there are different types of uh, put off. Because you could say, he's, uh, that's putting me off. Absolutely, like, yeah. Like, for example... Um, me da asco. Okay. Because you could say that. <laughs> o echar para atrás. Okay. Yeah. That's really put me off doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me ha echado para atrás, ¿no? Sí, you could say that. O... Um, um, so even put off could have different meanings. Yeah. So you you would have to know which mean which meaning you you mean. Exactly. Uh, when you look it up in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. So last tip for 
for the phrasal verbs, which are English uh, phrasal verbs, with, that's a verb with a, with a preposition on that, changes the meaning every time. Yes. The, the system is do not try and translate directly the phrasal verb. Think about what the phrasal verb means. Uh, yeah. That's putting me off. That, uh, that's putting me off doing it. That's too difficult to do. What you do is you say, now I don't want to do that because of that. That's a much easier way. Or so, if you can think of another verb to substitute to put off. Yeah. Okay, something that is more specific. Then look up that verb. Yeah. Because or or if you look if you look up put off, then see that there are different meanings, and get a dictionary that has examples. Yeah. Because if not, you could be using one that has nothing to do with the other one. Yeah. 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 The, the phrasal verbs are a big challenge for us, a big challenge for the Spanish people. Big challenge for you? Yeah, yeah. Big challenge for us. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Imagine the list. It's but endless. not so much for you, and I'll tell you for why. Tell me for why. I'll tell you for why. <laughs> not much for you because for every phrasal verb, you have, Span I'm saying you, Spanish speakers, yeah. have another verb. And oh, so, yeah. and that verb typically translates well into English. So very often you don't need to use phrasal verbs because you've got other verbs that describe it. Yes. With the difficulty that we've got For is example. we have a phrasal verb and we haven't got any other alternative because we always use that. Yeah. Yeah. For example. That's true. No, I was thinking of in the UK once that somebody was saying to me, blah, 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 and they were slagging me off. And he said to me, oh, I'm sorry, do you know what slag off mean? And I said, to criticize. And he said, yes. But he was like... Criticize would be the posh, absolutely <laughs> the posh verb. But for us, criticar, exactly. Criticize is easier to link criticar, criticize than slag off. Because exactly. slag off doesn't sound like anything. Exactly. So not always, but and they can catch you out sometimes. I remember one conversation that Cynthia oh, remembers no, deeply, no, and no. it and it left a, a scar on her oh, no, on loads. her alma. I've said loads when of when we were talking about we'd been working very hard, and <laughs> Cynthia said. Well, no, we've you decided. Noel said to me, "What are you doing this weekend?" What are you doing this weekend? And Cynthia said, "Well, we're gonna have it off." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that is cruel. Everybody burst out laughing, yes. except for Cynthia, and that's always when you know you've done. Yeah, I you've thought, said something wrong. I have said something wrong, and it's really wrong. So I've been either racist or sexual or something. Or oh, once, or oh, once we were after I've said so many things. It's incredible. Once we were somewhere like a, um, in our other job, we were doing something in a gathering with people, and I had to go to the toilet, but the toilet was broken for the for women. Oh, yeah. So I had to go to the. <laughs> okay, I said to the invalid. Yeah, I, I had to, to the, use the toilet for the invalid people. So everybody looked at me like, oh, like a. What a horrible person <laughs> she is. No, it was only the And I emphasis. was like, wow. Invalid, para la gente invalida, invalid, invalida, invalid. No. So, and somebody said, no, did we say invalid? In <laughs> no, 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 emphasis she, on the I it completely rather different. than the A. Yeah. yeah. And, yes. and I remember as well, I mean, just out of <laughs> uh, things. Also, it's different. not the same to say unique and unique. Unique, exactly. Yeah, not the same. <laughs> I've also learned that. <laughs> So I've learned, I've learned the hard way uh, many times. Unique, <laughs> there's nobody like you. Unique, nobody, nobody like, like you. <laughs> nobody likes you. There'll be nobody like you. <laughs> Ever. Nobody will You're like the you. You're the last one. <laughs> um, so uh. the last one, just to finish, uh, a friend of, of uh, ours, uh, Craig, he went to work in Spain oh, for a God. period of time. And he loved oh, walking through the countryside and he went with two friends oh, yeah. walking in the, in the <laughs> mountains of Bilbao. And so he was then... Bilbao on top of that, like the north. <laughs> the north. Like the where, macho. Where men are men and, <laughs> and sheep are scared. And, um, and, he, and he was talking to his teacher, oh, right, this God. formal teacher, and he said to her, um, yo fui a, a las montañas a, a, a practicar senderismo <laughs> con dos hombres. Y moje, right? Because he, he wanted to say that it rained, uh, and no, he, he got to say, wet. I got wet. Yeah, I, I got, got wet. wet. I got wet. Okay. Oh, so he said moje, 
And the teacher <laughs> burst out laughing. But then he came to, the, to my class and told me as well. And, you, and Cynthia burst out laughing. And, and he said, every, every Spanish person I tell that <laughs> bursts out laughing. And of course, um, what the, it's mojarse is to get wet. Yeah, okay. mojarse. Mojarse, when, 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 reflexive. Yeah, in English, when you have to, the get, get something, get wet, yeah. get... Uh, tends to be reflexive in Spanish. That's right, yeah. Mojarse. Ah. Okay. Yeah. And so he, what he effectively said was mojar, which is to, basically he said, I went to the mountain mountains with two men and I dipped my bread. <laughs> yeah, so like, broke back mountain kind of story. In Bilbao. <laughs> I went with my two male friends. Y <laughs> mojé. <laughs> and, he was so proud, wasn't he? <laughs> and what he said, what, a story, what, a what he said was that his teacher, he, he told this, the people at work, it was in a bar, the whole bar, they started to tell, everybody was telling everybody else <laughs> in the bar, the whole bar was laughing. His teacher went on to tell all of her friends oh, as well, and they were all that. So anyway, so he, and he learned in that moment the difference, the difference. between mojar and mojarse. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's how we learn, yeah? Oh, Either yeah. laughing or through a bad time. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. But all, I love all of these things because, gosh, at the moment you're embarrassed. You're like, oh my God, I want to die. But then after, as time moves on, you go, what the hell, you know? It's, yeah. not, it's not my language. I'm doing my best. Absolutely. And it's if fun. They, it's fun. You give people a laugh. Why not? You, usually people don't get offended. No. If they do, then I'm sorry, but they're no. idiots because... But normally they're laughing... They're laughing they laugh at what you it, said, not at you, but at no, what no, you no. said because it's hilarious. No, yeah, nobody, nobody laughs at you. They laugh because it's funny, and you laugh because, like, mojar. You, you could have laughed. <laughs> okay. Um, and also, this one student, said, the very, very beginner, said to me, instead of me llamo, me lamo. <laughs> Which I thought was funny as well. I lick myself, and I lick myself. <laughs> me lamo. <laughs> Melamo, Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. That, so I explained the difference between double L and one L in in yeah. Spanish. That's yeah. how you learn. Absolutely, absolutely. So there you are. Uh, what we were actually he's made about. his mistakes as well. Eh? Don't, uh, don't, don't you yeah, think absolutely. that he loads? Absolutely, I have absolutely many, 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 many. So there you have it. That's that's your two verbs: meter, poner, and also colocar. Yeah? Colocar. Mm -hmm. Before we go, just so you know, we. Um, Oh, oh, starting run. hey before we go just so you know yeah we are starting to produce um what are called mini courses all right and, and we're producing some courses for beginners there's only one there at the moment but I, i'm going to be working on some others the first one that we've got is for conjugating verbs being able to conjugate verbs in the present tense in spanish it's a bit of a challenge because there's a lot involved and then not only co conjugating the verb but then learning how to make sentences placing sentences adding whole verbs infinitives etc so there's a course that's in thinkific and it's available there for you if you aren't quite getting the hang of conjugating verbs in spanish as a beginner okay i wonder why because you know so easy to conjugate verbs <laughs> only three or four conjugations four u's four u's minute Good grief. A mind, how can a mind <laughs> capture four years? It's just, it's just not, it's just not done. Ok chicos, entonces eso es todo. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós.